Hi there, everyone. This is Mailman Zero, playing Earthbound. Trying not to get in any fights before now and when we get to the hotel. So we finally just finished getting Jeff leveled up. And now, it's time for us to stay at the hotel. Oh, and I don't have money. So, to recap from last time, since it's been so long since I've come out with a video. Uh, last time we basically just got Jeff up to where he needed to be, which uh, I've determined is level 19. Some people say that that's uh, leveling up way too much, but I figure that if you don't do that, that Jeff just dies all the time, and then I have to go to the hospital constantly. So, perfect. I got the Magnum Air Gun. That's exactly what I needed. So coming here had two reasons. Let's go ahead and equip Jeff with his newfound Magnum Air Gun. Oh, let's look at the difference between that. Yeah, that's a big difference. We get uh, 12 additional offense points out of that. We'll come up here and save. Now that we've saved, time to go on. Now that we've saved, it's time to go on and see what's in this crazy looking circus tent. This fat guy, he looks like he's got something good. Uh, yeah, Jeff did. So I'm young. Big whoop. Yeah, that's a good idea. She's helpful. Yeah, it's evil to leave your family and save yourself. Alright, so... That's awesome. I guess I went to the wrong tent. <laughs> There's more than one, apparently. Or I just don't know what I'm talking about. There's a mouse. I saw a mouse over there. I can't remember what the mouse is for. Okay, I'm a little bit confused, because I th thought that now I could go to the tent, but the tent is just a normal tent. I mean, there's nothing special about it. I, I, I wonder if I missed something. I mean, the, it's just a tent. I'm supposed to be able to you know, do something cool with this tent, but uh, it's just a tent right now. So there's the hotel. Where's the pizza shop? So, is it down here that there's another tent? <laughs> ah, it's been a long time since I've played through this game. It's the bakery. Hospital pizza, okay. So I go south of here. Oh, okay, so here's our crazy tent. What does the dog have to say? Good dog. There we go. This is the scary tent. Garg. Well, that was a good introduction. Come on, boogie tent. Is it a boogie tent or a bogey tent? I guess it's a boogie tent. Give this guy a run for his money. Alright. See how long this takes us. Some good attacking. So, obviously, here you can see all I'm doing is I'm using fire from Paula and I'm just bashing or shooting in Jeff's case. Just the regular attack with everyone else. Oh good. 
just what I- what? Oh, Ness can't do anything except psychic stuff. Uh, is it worth it for him to do that? No, I'll wait. I guess if he can't do anything. No, I can't even do it. I can't even block or anything. Okay. Hopefully Ness will kind of go back to normal here. Oh. Well, that was a much easier battle than I thought it was going to be. And the tent is completely gone. And the zombies flee. And I get some fly honey. You know, like a fly honey. Like a really nice lady. Okay, so, uh... That's good. That barely even hurt. Whoa, hello. Hi, Apple Kid. Huh. Zombie paper. Yeah, that could be pretty useful right now, considering that we need uh, to collect zombies. Yeah, I would love to have some zombie paper. Perfect. I wonder if I have to pay for it. I'm so glad that I have this apple kit on my side. I knew it was the right thing to invest in his stuff. Hello, mock pizza delivery man. Yes. Yeah, thank you for the stuff. So now that we've got this, uh, I'm guessing we could use this person's idea and try to get them all to come in here. Um, yeah, I've got that. Wait, maybe I just use it right here? leave now? So, I put the zombie paper in there. How do I get the zombies to come in here now? So, apparently, um, I, th I th think, I think what I need to do is just get some time to pass again, so I'm just going to go to sleep. Oh, I, I don't have the money again. So, But I think if I sleep, you know, then it'll be like overnight, and uh, we'll see what happens when the zombies come out, I guess. I don't really get that because they're already out, but whatever. This is not the normal thing we see when we sleep. Zombies must come to the center of town. Those zombies didn't move. But these ones did. That's good. Now we can finally get into there. Whoa, zombies come from miles around. Even a zombie dog. Oh, well that was a nice sleep. Let's, uh, come on over here and we'll just save again for fun. Alright. Now that that's taken care of, let's see what we've got going on in Zombie Town. Wow, people. Hope you got out of there before the zombies came in. Arrest, yes. Poor zombies. So what are we supposed to do with them now that we've got them caught? So, uh, the paper covers the entire ground? No, that was a horrible thing to say. What are you going to do when you catch those women? Yeah, we know you. You're a horrible, horrible person. So now what am I supposed to do? I guess I could go back to uh, where the zombies 
used to be in the way up here and I don't know see if maybe we can get back behind there this place is still crawling with enemies oh man that's a lot of enemies well I guess I'll just attack him does she have ice yeah we'll freeze no fire to the front row uh, we'll shoot this guy Perfect. And nobody had to get hurt, except for the putrid moldy man. Is this guy a bad guy? In disguise. Of course, we get two uh, helpers coming along. We'll just do something similar again. No, wrong one. Come on, fires. No one can seem to hit this stupid ghost. Finally! I forgot what I was supposed to do to get him to go away faster. Probably ice or something. So, what have we down here? awesome underground cavern where everything glows oh let's fight some zombie dogs okay zombie dogs are dangerous so I'm gonna go ahead and just um, I guess we'll focus on it first we'll have Paula try to freeze it Everyone else will just try to attack it. Come on, don't, don't go ahead. So the zombie dog has this ability to, um, to poison you. And so he's very dangerous. I'm gonna need to heal Paula. Well, we got some level up anyway. Two hit points. That's cool. That's a good one. So Jeff's IQ points are interesting. He needs to have high IQ points to be able to repair certain objects. Um, so, uh, let's see, life up. I guess I'll just do alpha. Yeah, that was good. Um, a skip sandwich DX, hooray! Um, but he, he has to have a certain IQ level to be able to repair some things. And, uh, so it's important to keep leveling him up so that he's, you know, ready. We'll go ahead and just have Paula go nuts again on this zombie dog. I mean, that thing, that was gone in one hit last time. Same thing's probably gonna happen this time. I just hope that this zombie doesn't do anything to, to hurt me afterwards. I... Yeah, I don't know what it means when he does something very mysterious. It never seems to work. Ooh, a silver bracelet. Let's see, can, can Paula wear this? Because she's weak. Yeah, that doesn't make a huge difference, but it makes a good difference. Well, hello! Oh man, zombie possessors. I hate these guys. See, this is a really bad situation because there are two of these zombie possessors. 
Oh, man. I, I wonder... Does Flash work on... It does. Well, does she have this too? She just has Freeze. I think I better use her Freeze. And maybe have Jeff also shoot. Oh, good. So we've got one of them down. That's good, but... Uh, I do not want to get possessed right now. I think if I just bash, I don't, uh, should I just use alpha, beta, I think I'll, I'll just use alpha, it's kind of a gamble, but I think I'm okay. Yeah, that worked out well. The battle could have, couldn't have gone much better, I don't think. We're running out of place to hold things, now even Jeff has to take things. Well, hello! Um, I was not prepared for this. Oh, hello, Mini Barf! You look like it's some sort of a boss fight. Let's get rid of this barf. We will have Paula try to use fire on him. And... Jeff will use some bottle rockets. Not bad. That's some heavy duty attacking. So, I have a feeling we're going to be using a lot of this here. Paula once again will try to use some fire. And we'll use another bottle rocket. Alright. That went really well. Ooh, level 28 for Ness. That was a good level up. Kind of a weak level up for Jeff, but not bad. Yorg, Yorg indeed. I should be careful here. I really should use some some life up on. Uh, will life up be enough? I, we'll try it. That's good enough. Um, what's Jeff's status? He's not down too far. I'll just leave him be. What do you have to say, sir? stuff. Um, yeah, I don't think I really need any of this stuff, so I'm gonna go on. Saturn Valley? Hmm. Alright. Well, let's be careful here. I, I don't really know what's here at all. That's the bomb. I'm a little surprised there aren't any enemies here. I mean, it's... You know, you'd think it would be a little bit harder. Oh, there are some enemies. A zombie and what was that? I don't want to know. Let's say farm zombie? What the heck? So, I'm guessing the farm zombie comes from... I don't know... Probably left over from zombies attacking people that were farmers. I, I, I don't know. Guess I shouldn't have worried too much. We'll just kill him. Um, the zombie is dodging everything. That's what we're talking about. Yay, a protein drink. I guess we'll fight this guy. What is this guy? Plain crocodile? Alright, this guy apparently doesn't like to get frozen, so... 
I don't know. Should we do alpha or beta? I guess alpha. We'll see what happens to him. That was pretty good. It's hardly even a battle. I don't know what he would do if he had actually bit me, though. Probably wouldn't be really nice. So, should I go up or should I go through here? Uh, let's look and see what's in here. Alright, what is this guy? It's like a little bug. A roach? I guess I'll just try to hit him. What? Spreading your wings makes... Never mind. That guy's not too difficult. It's in here. Okay, look at that. Ooh, a bottle rocket. Uh-oh. I guess I better use something. Um, what could I use? What could I use? Um, not this. I guess I could fight a guy and use the bomb for no reason. Uh, I don't know. Use the bomb. Oh, I have to she can't use someone else's goods. And he will use a bomb. Yay, a bomb! Good timing for a smash attack, Ness. Just when I didn't need it. Alright, so now that we've done that, we can go and get what's in here. Good for Jeff to take it, considering he's the only one that can use it. This music is nice. Ooh, the full-fledged version. What is this? Um, it's a nice mustache you've got. Whoa! Nice letters. Hi ho, me, Mr. Saturn. This place, all are Mr. Saturn. Okay, what does that mean? Well, this looks like a nice place to. Yes, I do. How much does it cost? Apparently, it's free. Ooh, I got a slime generator. Sweet. Um. Well, I think I'm gonna end it here. This has been pretty good. Uh, go next time. We, we've got some big stuff to do. And, uh, yeah, it'll be, uh, it'll be a good one. We'll explore the Saturn Valley here, see what else we can find. And hopefully it won't be uh, too much longer before the next video. I'm aiming to get back on track with uh, a pretty good time, probably every other day for Earthbound. So, Join me next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.